Hello and welcome. Yesterday, the European currency gained value against the US dollar as expected. The European Central Bank's decision to keep its monetary policy in change met market expectations. Besides, ECB policymakers agreed to end their pandemic emergency bond buying program by March. As part of a separate asset purchase program, the regulator decided to double its monthly purchases up about 20 billion euros currently to 40 billion euros in the second quarter of 2022. This news supported the euro. Moreover, ECB President Christine Lagarde said in a statement that they would step up efforts to counter inflation. At the same time, she still believed that inflation remains largely temporary. Yesterday's macroeconomic calendar also included the Bank of England's meeting the regulation unexpectedly raised its main interest rate to 0.25% as inflation pressures mounted in Britain. In addition, the bank signaled that it would continue to hike rates next few year. Against this background, the British pound managed to gain upside momentum. As for today's fundamental factors, Germany is set to release statistics on producer prices and IFO's business climate index. The euro area will report data on inflation. The annual inflation laid in the region is expected to be 4.9% in November. If the indicator exceeds analyst, ex analyst expectation, the euro will most likely strengthen, then as the ECB will be forced to take bolder steps. Besides, ECB and Fed members will speak today, and at such new releases, I expect the European currency to extend gains. From a technical point of view, bulls need to protect the support level of 1.1321. A false breakout at this level will most likely lead to a return to 1.1356. If the price breaks through this mark, the euro is expected to advance to 1.1381. If the price gets out of its white sideways range upwards, the development of a new bullish trend will be confirmed. In this case, the euro-dollar pair will have every chance of hitting 1.1415 and 1.1442. From the level of 1.1442, it will be possible to open short position of a rebound with a few to catch an intraday correction of 50-20 pips. If birds are able to protect 1.1356, or the price breaks through 1.1321 from top to bottom and a downbeat data from Germany, a sell signal will appear in this situation. Bulls should focus on the 1.1294 mark so as not to lose control of the price. A false breakout at this level will create a strong buy signal. Its breakout, the price fixation below this level, will result in a decline to 1.1266. From this mark, traders will be able to go long on the rebound, counting on the intraday correction of 1520 pips. As for the British currency, market sentiment remains bullish, but the price needs to break about 1.336. If the pound sterling consolidates about this level, strong buy signal will be created. In this case, the way to the high of 1.3372 will open. Its breakout will enable the price to hit a new high, approaching 1.3407 and 1.3446. At the level of 1.3446, I recommend locking in profits and opening short position on a rebound if the price fails to rise about 1.3336. A false breakout will create a sell signal. Thus, the level of 1.3304 can be seen as a target. However, counter-trend trading is quite risky. The key risk of bulls will be to protect 1.3304. A false breakout at this level will confirm the bullish trend and the volume of long position will increase. If there is no activity at 1.3304, long position can be considered only amid a rebound from the level of 1.3304. 3271. Well, that's all. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Good luck and have a nice weekend.